Hi everyone, we are going to do a reading and see what comes through. So I've got the cards ready to go. Just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal uh, readings um, and things like that with me, they are available on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com and also listed down below. So I offer personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, like magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and so much more. And there's also intention items on my website, which thousands of people have seen results with, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, wallet, or your purse, sage bundles, candles, and there's also pouches with different spices and herbs, which you can also so put in, you know, under your pillow and things like that. And um, these items are all handmade, meditated with and saged. Okay, so let's see what's coming through for this reading. This is a reading which is for all star signs. All right, so let's see. Back at it with the circular cards. Whoa, okay. Anything else flip over? No, okay. Well, I think that you're very intuitive. That's the hanged man's energy. I don't think that you're wrong in any way, shape or form, actually. I think that your intuition is very powerful. You know what you feel. I just think that one of the things here is that you can be quite emotional. Now, that's not a bad thing um, in any way, shape or form. However, anything of too much is, you know, excess. Like, uh, and sorry, anything in excess can be poison, right? So anything, like too much of anything can be too much. So I think one of the things here is that Obviously, you have a very strong intuition, but you also have a lot of emotion with it as well. And um, sometimes that emotion can really make you feel, you know, excessively frustrated, excessively triggered, excessively upset, you know, about the situation. Um, so obviously, that can really impact your own emotions and your mental health and emotional health. It's just something to, you know, keep in mind. There is a person here who, you know, something happened here, like an ending something stagnant, you know, they might have said, you know, it's it's not me, it, sorry, it's not you, it's me, you know, and kind of just ended things, ghosted you, or they could have blocked you, they could have, you know, taken space from you, you may not be in contact so much, you may be talking that to them here and there, but, you know, there's not a lot of it, let's say, and I just feel that, you know, you feel frustrated, you feel upset, you feel hurt, you feel just like, what in the world is going on here, you know, it just doesn't feel great, and I feel very, very heavily that you still feel to a degree that this person hasn't made up their mind. Like, it's not a completely closed door. Even though, in terms of reality, you are like, okay, the door is closed, like, they're not really doing so much more towards me. For some of you, they can be very hot and cold, where one second the door is closed, and the next second, they're coming towards you, and they want communication with you. So, there's this sense here of you just feeling like, you know, whatever your situation is, things are stagnant, but the door is still somewhat open. It's not locked it's not locked. And you're also thinking to yourself, like, there was something really special there. And they felt it, they validated it to a degree, like they literally did validate it, you know, they could have told you at some point that they've never met somebody like you, that you are super special, they want a future with you, they want to really explore things with you. And they really showed you that. And you're thinking, they still feel it, they still feel it. And that's your intuition. Let me tell you though, your intuition isn't wrong, okay? It really isn't wrong because this person has had their own issues, their own set of challenges. They've been so focused on work from what I'm seeing here, okay? So six of pentacles, three of pentacles, heavy, heavy focus on work absolutely heavy um, to the point where they've just been so consumed with work. I also see some kind of renovations. It's just, I know that might sound a little bit random, but renovations, there's something about renovations, them having to oversee certain things, and it's just been, you know, them, you know, hopping from like one thing to another, one thing to another, one thing to another. It's been emotionally, you know, quite rocky for them because they've just felt like, oh, I need to do this, and I need to do this, and I need to do this, and I haven't got time for this, and oh my gosh, you know, and, and they can feel very um, defensive, they can feel very triggered, they can feel very angry, you know, have a bit of a mood and a temper at times, and just be like very all over the place but they really do like you and that is something that has honestly not gone away at any point or any time we also have here as well the knight of pentacles which is obviously quite significant as well that really goes to show here that they still 
think about you. They still have feelings towards you. They're so slow towards you. They like barely do anything, but they still feel something towards you and they feel that there is unfinished business with you. They still feel that there is there is something that needs to happen and until it doesn't happen, they don't have peace within themselves either. Both of you don't have peace until something more happens between the two of you. It's just that they are very slow because right now they've got so much going on in their life, but your intuition is correct. There is unfinished business. And yes, they do love you and have strong, strong feelings for you. And just because they've shut that door doesn't mean that they've shut you out completely. Although right now you want to live in the present and obviously keep taking care of yourself and doing you and living your life, you know, you don't want to be sitting there and waiting for someone who isn't reciprocating your feelings and emotions. I mean, that can also be quite emotionally not great, you know? You want to get on with your life and even though the door is open, like, don't sit there and wait for them to come by your door, you know what I mean? <laughs> just, just let them come to you whenever they do come to you, but until then, live your life, you know? Live your life. Take care of you. Move forward, you know, that's very important. Remember, also waiting can delay things with the law of attraction. The more you wait, the more you attract that waiting energy. Whereas when you move forward, that's when people come back around. It's true. It is true. Okay, so your intuition isn't lying. Um, keep doing your spiritual practices. By the way, 20 minutes of meditation can help you so much with your intuition, your gut, your emotions to balance them out as well. And the reason why emotions need to be balanced out is because excessive emotion can actually override your intuition and make you take actions that you would then regret you know that's why some people they think oh yeah my intuition's telling me to do this and you know they can make a decision out of anger and then really regret things so you'll know when you make the right decision when you just feel very at peace with it that's a good way of telling you know telling it so um ace of pentacles yep you know more than they can imagine you know that there's something here. You know that they are struggling. They, see, they're not telling you that they are struggling because they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to be, you know, in, in a vulnerable place. They don't want to tell you like, oh, I don't feel so great right now and I've got all this going on. You already know it. You already know it. You already know that they're struggling and they've got all of this going on. They don't want to tell you because they don't want to look weak. They don't want to look vulnerable. But you already know what, what's going on in their life. And uh, you know so much more than they could even imagine that you would know. <laughs> they're also thinking that like you know you probably don't know how much they still love you um and and they are quite genuinely heartbroken they really are they're heavily 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 heartbroken over the fact that you know they did have to close that door on you and they do want to move things along with you and that's what you're feeling you're feeling that things are not finished you know that like nothing is over between the two of you here but they're not telling you that because they've got so much going on, you know, and, and they're being pulled in so many different directions that they need to get these directions sorted out first. See, death card here, something came to a close, but look, chariot, something's, something's happening. So this is death and this is like, you know, an energy of them coming forward, death and rebirth. You know, it's about change and transformation. See, things are not over. These are like chalk and cheese cards, right? So... They are going to come towards you. Yes, they're being pulled in a million different directions. Yes, they've got, you know, a hundred people demanding their time right now, including their family. And I think that... I think they don't, they don't realise that you know all of this. That you're, you know, they, they're going to come towards you and that they still feel very heavily towards you. You've also got the Ten of Wands, which fell directly on the top of the Ten of Swords. They closed the door so that they could have convenience in terms of managing other areas of their life right now, but they're not going to be able to forget you, they're not going to be able to let go of you, so then there's that whole situation. Okay, thought I'd just, you know, um, get some extra cards out. Ten of Cups, okay, look at that, right? Literally, you got a ten, a ten, but then you've got a completely different ten here. This is about them opening the door, and again, it's like chalk and cheese, right, with what we have here. Got the six of swords as well now that obviously goes to show as well that they do have some emotional issues and many things that they are trying to sort out in their path right now they've just got a lot going on four of pentacles as well this is very important you know they're really holding back but clearly you know the bigger picture here because you're quite spiritual you're quite intuitive you can feel their energies the two of you have a soul bond and a soul connection which is why you can feel very very connected to what they're feeling what they're thinking what's going on with them you feel it heavily and look three of cups as well what's really interesting is that they do spend you know time going to social gatherings and things like that um, especially you know just with work and other things as well family 
and nobody compares to you and so they actually end up comparing you to a lot of people and um, they are now thinking like oh maybe you've moved on with your life and everything you know you're doing is amazing but they're feeling so triggered that they actually need to come towards you so there's definitely unfinished business and things have not come to a close between the two of you so then there's that Ooh, a lot of cards, sorry, a lot of cards just flipped over. So actually, you know, it works both ways. Did something else flip over? Here we go. Um, it works both ways because I think that you know more than they can imagine and they no more than you could imagine. Yes, they feel like you might be moving forward with your life and stuff, but they feel still very heavily connected to you. And even though they've shut the door, they can't stop thinking about you, right? So they still know more about the situation than you can also imagine. So both of you on both of your sides are like kind of just living your life, doing your own thing. Yes, you feel very heavily connected to them, but also they also feel heavily connected to you. It's just that they're not ready to come forward as, as of like right this second, you know? but they will soon, they will soon. And look, you make me feel so blessed. So they can't stop thinking about you. I don't feel that they're going to let go of you. And we've also got here as well, I fear a relationship with you because I don't want it to be another failed relationship. They felt so strongly towards you. They felt so connected to you, but they felt like it was too good to be true, which is why things kind of got shut like the door kind of got shut a little bit and what i see here is that actually they're starting to realize that there's something really special here and that it's more special than you know with anyone else that they have even tried to make things work with and that going in the opposite direction is not going to give them peace happiness satisfaction joy or fulfillment and that's big wow that is big but yeah they're, they're starting to feel the pain you know of what they've caused and they're starting to feel bad in regards to everything and starting to realize that actually what they've had with you is really special and really amazing and that they need to do more you know so that's huge that is absolutely huge wow okay so that is your reading i mean listen your intuition is powerful it's very very strong they also know more than you might even imagine you might think that again they're you know living their life and things like that but they still do think about you they still you know are thinking about you and the relationship you had they had fears. I mean, you make them feel very blessed. You make them feel, you know, very like, um, you know, special. You do. And you might not even know that. So there, there's that. There, sorry. There's, there's that. Then there is that. <laughs> wow. Your affirmation here is, I am blessed. You know why? Because that is such a good affirmation in a situation like this where you can feel invalidated or upset or frustrated with everything going on. So validate yourself, take care of yourself. And you know, this is really what I'm seeing and it can actually make you feel so much better overall as well. So this is what we have. I really hope it helps you. And don't forget to check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And I will see you all very soon. Take care, everyone.